all, I'm going to talk about uh, my tech talk video that is about uh, leadership crisis and the new path to a better future. Okay, I think uh, the society of these days has a crisis in every in everything crisis of confirmatory and honors i think it's a crisis of confirmatory when we continue to do business and lead in the way we always have yet the the evidence is overwhelming that the world needs us to change our ways our ways to lead because the society and the world advance every single day so leaders should should adapt to that change uh, like like for example these days as a uh, evidence since since science has told us that we're facing a climate crisis uh, almost the 40 percent of board directors don't think climate belongs in the bad in the in the important in the they don't think that there is this is a important topic uh, and we have a lot of people marching in the streets now asking us to be uncountable for the future that we need to think about them not just in the present for us we need to think for them in the future we have a crisis of inequality uh, the reason for us to deal with this complicated crisis that are interrelated is that we are the lowest levels of trust we have ever been at okay for the reason there is an inequality around the world in everything there are no trust anymore so i think what the world needs is uh, coverage leaders yet they have to be humble and they have to be guided by a moral compass and the moral compass is a combination of having a social purpose and that you can't keep operating uh, anymore without a purpose that contributes to society we cannot just define why we exist we have to define how we're going to do business and how we're going to lead us and to us that has to be solved even the crisis there as i said at the beginning there, there's a lot of crisis in this society the climate crisis the crisis of inequality and the crisis of trust um, i think that the the world is calling is is asking to us um, for a respons a responsible leadership and a, a smart one. They really need to start thinking about courageously and holistically how they're going to be part of the solution. Okay, I think that one of the methods that could really help is the leadership between women amen as we know this society is made of men and women they both have different needs different thoughts and all the stuff so i think that if you want to get to them if you want to get to build a better society you have to think the both sides you have to think there has to be uh, this kind of leadership the leadership between men and women because they they are they are who build the society these days you can have one without the another they are both important these days so i think that's really the strongest way of leadership that maybe um, sometimes these days has not been shown okay i think that's the most effective leadership style
okay uh, also there there is called this Hubris syndrome uh, this syndrome says that is or, or cancer in leadership okay that's when okay what the Hubris syndrome tries to say is that when that's that is when leaders think they know it all they can do it all they have all the answers and they don't think that they need to surround themselves with people who will make them better okay this is a really really real problem because as we know leaders are cho are chosen and that is something that the, they they could uh, affect them in a really bad way because they may feel more, more so much more than than the other people that chose them. So I think well here says, and I think that that's the real problem. Uh, what's it called the Hubris syndrome? And I think new leaders, uh, they don't have to be like that, okay? Uh, they have to be a diverse leader with an open mind, okay? And because the leaders with the Hubert syndrome uh, are, they are people, uh, these syndrome presents in people who are diverse and have no and have different opinions in general okay that kind of leadership doesn't unleash leaders in others okay if you have a close if you have a close mind there is no way you can uh, uh, you can teach to a possibly new and great leader because you have a close mind and you think that there is no one better than you okay so I think that if we embrace courage and humility in equal amounts society is progressing and leadership should do adapt to that okay uh, this try to say that if the syndrome of hubris is finally gone which it is possible it is really hard but it is possible and actually we have a lot of examples i don't really think that we need to name them um, i think who is the best example of this syndrome of hubris well i think that maybe hu no i'm sure hubris is the principal problem of all these leadership crisis okay because the bad leadership is staying in the society and, and there and they don't know how to get better okay so I think that is the if the Huey syndrome is finally gone uh, leaderships could be better and can expand their knowledge to new leaders Okay, and as we know, the society we're living in, it advances every day, every single day. So, um, I think that leaders should not present this hubris syndrome and get adapted to uh, to the advance of society. Okay. The world is going to advance, have different problems, different things to worry about, a lot of things. And I think that good leader should see things not just good for him, but for everyone. And well, that's my video about tech talking, about the leadership crisis and the new path to the future. And thank you.